Yo, what's up guys and welcome back yet to another 5M beginners tutorial. <laughs> so in today's video guys, I'm just going to be focusing on showing you guys how to open up your server to the public, how to make it available to the public. It's going to be simple steps and let's jump straight to it. First thing you need to do is you can open up Windows Defender Firewall. And we're going to create, create. <laughs> sorry guys, so we're going to create four ports. We're going to start off with inbound rules. Um, just so you guys know that I've already done mine so I'll just show you the steps but I won't complete the steps for my side um, but yeah you just you guys just follow me all the way <clears throat> so what you need to do is you can create new rule you're gonna click on port because that's what we want to do you want to open up a port you say next you start with TCP and this is the port number all over um, so you're gonna use this for Windows Defender Firewall as well as for your router, but we'll get to that. <clears throat> okay, so port forward uh, uh, is 30120, and you guys say next. Allow the connection, next, and next. So guys, whatever name you give here, just make sure that for the four ports that we're gonna create, the names stay the same. Um, it will just make it easier for you guys to to access the ports and to understand what port is for what you guys can see there 5m 5m the names are exactly the same so yeah for me it's, it's simpler because then i know it 5m is for my 5m port <laughs> so you guys can just type in 5m or whatever the case may be and you guys can hit finish all right then you're going to go back new rule again port next and this time you're going to go udp we first did the TCP, now we're going to do the UDP. Same port number, 30120. You guys are going to hit next. Allow connection, next, next, and the name. Same as previous. And you guys are going to hit finish. And you guys will see you've got two ports in your inbound rule. I'm going to go to the outbound rules. As you guys can see here, my outbound rules, the ports are exactly the names are exactly the same as the uh, inbound. All right. <clears throat> so new rule. Port again. Next, we're gonna start with TCP three zero one two zero, and you guys are gonna hit next. And this time, you guys will see it's blocked here. So just make sure that it's allow the connection. Next, next, same name as previous, and then you guys hit finish. And then the last port. New rules. Port next udp 30120 next allow the connection next next exactly the same name as previous and finito right so then you guys will have two rules in your outbound and two rules in your inbound and that's it guys your your server is now open to the public now for some guys um You'll have to do an extra step and that means you have to port forward on your router as well and just remember guys when you do the port forwarding on your router you're going to use the exact same port number that we've used for 5m the 30120 um i would suggest that you guys rather phone your server provider give them the port number and then ask them to open up that port on your router if you don't want to go that route you can easily just go on to google so i'm gonna show you guys here all you need to type in so i've got a tp link tp link port forwarding there we go <clears throat> and this will explain to you how to do the port forwarding um, very simple guys just follow the steps step by step by step and remember that if you have to put in the port number, don't forget to put in the 30120. So yeah, for any route you have, just put in the, the name in there, deep link, port forwarding, and then follow the easy steps down there. Um, if you do struggle, like I said, I suggest you guys phone your, your service provider and then ask them to create the port forwarding for you guys. And yeah guys if you if this video has helped you guys if you enjoyed it guys please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions um 
any tips or anything you guys are free to leave me a message in the comment down below there's also a discord link in the description down below uh, so you guys can follow that um that link join the discord and i'll be available to help you guys set up your 5m server or any issues you guys may have uh, if you guys haven't done yet please do give me a subscribe turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified every time i upload a new video again guys thanks for the support and i'll see you guys on the next one